Hello and welcome to a field in Transport Fever 2. We are, uh, well, can you guess where we are? I've been busy, very busy. And we'll be taking a brief look at that before we get going with today's build, which is Motherwell Station. And depending on time, I'm hoping to get some more services on the map and some different train operators. Has anybody figured out where we are yet? I could rotate it, but I'm going to leave you in suspense. Also today, we get our first level crossing. Our only level crossing on this ginormous map. I was surprised to see where it is, of all the places to have a level crossing. Shall we zoom out then? Bring up the UI. Lots to do today. That's where we were sitting. Did you guess it right? <laughs> I've been uh, detailing up, as you can see. We've got little boxes everywhere. Roughly where they are. Correct boxes? Possibly not. They're in? Absolutely. I mean, they do the job, don't they? I've even got a little phone mast from Siri here. The uh, Transport Fever 2 modder. Not the uh, thing you speak into in your phone. Is that, is that a thing, Siri? I feel like it is. I could be wrong. Now I'm questioning myself. Anyway, I know there's other ones that I'm, I shouldn't possibly say. Alexa and Google Assistant. Who else? Bixby, of course, as well. And, uh, yeah. Siri. I feel like Siri was a thing. I mean, I know you're a modder but I, in the phone world, in the, in the voice-operated robot people. Anyway, Siri, Siri. Now, uh, this isn't finished, but it's all a work in progress. We have the road going across here now. I've uh, started doing a bit of trackside scenery down here. Trying to figure out where we need to be for Motherwell. It looks a bit better, doesn't it? Especially from the roadside here. It's starting to look nice. And more importantly, from the trackside, it's given us a bit more to look at as we uh, take passenger and freight services down here, no doubt. Definitely passenger. Great. Well, we can take it anywhere we like, can't we? This is looking a bit different now. Uh, there's more and more going on. All work in progress. There's a lot to do. At first, I was going to time lapse this. And then instead, I decided it's probably better to spend that time. It's an awful lot of time to get a time lapse together to do even more detailing. So progress has been made for this episode. Which I think going forward is the best way to do this, isn't it? There's absolutely so much I've got to fit into this series. That if I don't start doing a whole bunch of work off screen, we're not going to get anywhere. The yard, which has been renamed. Moss End Yard, there we go. Which I put as DB Schenker. So thank you for that. We still have DB Schenker. It's going to be this area over here. Uh, a lot of useful info in the comments if you want to go and check that out. I started putting some of our container wagons in here. These I've seen actually in the yard on, on uh, Google Maps. Now those ones there and these. Not as many. I've got a complete mix here. Will they be happy about DHL being here? Given FedEx is down the road. Tough. Because we don't have any FedEx ones. I've got a little... Uh, B.B. Schenker loco parked up there as well. There we go. Do we like it? It's starting to come together. Wrong uniform, but uh, it's the only high-vis I could find. I'm going to have to hunt around see if I can find more. Not really a response unit. Maybe. Maybe the electrics went. But it gives you some idea of how this is going to start shaping up now. Some of the detailing isn't done. We do have a fence down there. And uh, Jones's lovely trucks, they're going to get some action on the actual roads themselves. I wonder if our train's on the way down here. Our test train. I'm not seeing it. Where are you? Surely you're down here somewhere. I don't know where he is. There he, there he goes. He's going to be passing over the river. We can look in down here, can't we? That looks almost detailed if you aim it right. You're <laughs> fully detailed. It obviously isn't. 
And then we'll take a look at how I've uh, managed to just about squeeze everything in to get Motherwell working. Some artistic license was had and our test train probably won't be any more. Although I feel like we need to get this out every time we want to do a test run. Maybe we can find a line or create a line that just takes it to a yard and we can stop it there. To a siding somewhere. I think we can make that work. I did install a few more mods. Talking of mods, I'd like to show you before we get going is I was really surprised about this. Killer Cans knocked it out of the park with one of his mods. If we go into these of all things if you use the square brackets this is fantastic and suggests any asset can be done like that look at it you can you can rotate it guys look at that not just left and right up and down but you can side to side you can also rotate it like that isn't that wonderful now, if some of the mods, the building mods, especially these, if those had that ability enabled, these here, that'd be wonderful. I've tried. You can't rotate with square brackets on these unless they're somewhere else. But uh, yeah, this is the bridge and dam construction set. The ones I keep using to build all these. For those that keep asking, it is linked in the, the description below the video. And here we go. The West Coast Main Line continues on finally. And I had to do a lot of work here. Which is why I did it off screen. Lots of fiddling around and moving things. I had to shift the lake slightly. And it's an actual lake now. Well, it's a lock, isn't it? But it is now water, actual water. Whether I continue to have this as water or paint it in, I'm not sure. We've got our two uh, viaducts in, the one for the West Coast Main Line here and the one for this branch line as well, the bigger one, the fancy one. These are amazing. I love this. And uh, then we head up here. I didn't put in the actual station. That's what we're doing together today. And I didn't put that in. Uh, this needs changing because it's going to need to be flat for our level crossing, which is why this is uh, almost straight. I'm going to straighten them all up. There is a lot of junction work we've got to squeeze in here. The West Coast Main Line is going to be on the east side of the station. And then the branch line kind of swaps over. Also goes into the east side. It all merges into one big mess of a thing going on. The only way we can do this, I think, is to use our freestyle station. So we're going to take it out. We're going to keep it flat. And I'm going to try and keep it at 90. As you can see, we've moved down to the south quite a bit. We do need to keep heading off this way, don't we? For the West Coast Main Line. This does join in. So we can just change how we go in from this point And finally connect into the West Coast Main Line here. There we go. Yes. Now, the other one, we're going to have a gap from here. Ignore what I'm doing up this end. Uh, it was just to try and get the two aligned. Not that. Or that. <laughs> we will be using that soon, but not yet. I would like it to do this because there's like a row of bushes in between. Whether that's enough space, I don't know. So if we put in another separator just there will that give us a nice curve up here it does i'd like to keep it separated up until it curves off around there oh no you got rid of your separator grand let's get you in there you in there and then we'll keep that separate up to this point lovely and then we can bring that in and meet back up with a track there we go better can we do 30 there? Perfect. This also, oddly, connects into that. I'm not sure what... Oh yeah, they don't connect up here, do they? Not oddly at all. These are not going to be very quick at all, are they? 25? Or something like that? It 
does that. Uh, this doesn't look like it's going to be very quick at all. 25? Sure. This one branches off now, this way. I guess, yeah, we're, we're going to have our station quite a way away, aren't we? I don't know what this speed's going to be. 70? 60? Should we go with 65 on this side? It's going to go like that and like this. It's going to be platforms 3 and 4. So we need to bring that up and get this connected in. Surely it's not going to be faster than 30. I think that's the junction though. Yeah, there's a there's another siding type thing. And then there's a bypass track as well. This heads off and continues off that way. And then this can branch in like that. This is the beginning of our station then, just here. Yeah, this is going to be monstrous, isn't it? Oh dear. And we need uh, a bit of ground built. And 90. And make sure it stays at 90. We don't want it curving too much, but uh, we may as well curve as much as we can. It's going to be a big station. This is coming off that way. It doesn't matter if we've got to move the train because I've moved everything anyway. It makes sense to do this. We do need quite a bit of detailing room in the middle. Nothing a bit of uh, terraforming can't solve. I think we do meet up with the ground again where we're heading. So it's not too terrible, is it? We're going to gain a bit of height as well. As long as it looks the part when you're done. That's all that matters. Get that all out there. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Once it's all filled in and then once we've official episode it all over the place. Here we go. Let's make that bigger. Zoom out. Go like that. Then we'll just get a little bit of smoothing done. We're going to need it all flat because of our building work. It's just going to make our lives much, much more difficult if we uh, don't make a, a nice section for us to work with. That's going to be our building area up here and around here as well. Didn't need to smooth that at all, did I? This piece of track only curves at the last second. It's going to be this here. Uh, we might be able to get back on track. Puns intended. The question is, can I fit this platform in and how long can we get it? The best bet would be to continue this off, wouldn't it? Let's make this the straight section. There's going to be another siding up here. We're not going to worry too much about terrain because we're going to dive in and underground for a, a reason I'll let you know about once we get to it. That's not what we're doing at the moment. We're just going to keep going with this over here and we're going to put the siding in once we've figured it out. Is that you've done it grand but are you happy with it? You didn't even check to see any of this lining up. Well if we put the platforms in we can get a rough idea, can't we? This would be starting as close as possible. It depends. Uh, what does this look like? If I hold C, will that give us what we need here? I think it will, wouldn't it? Would that give us the end of the platform? It's a bit skew with. What length do we have? 120? We're going to need this one to be quite long, or very long. I don't know what sort of lengths we're using out here. 180? Is that what we'll go with? It looks pleasant, doesn't it? 180. It's actually longer than 180, isn't it? It's one, 200. There we go. Right, yes. Yeah, so if we do this to 180 here, this inside platform is a bit longer. And we put this another 20. There we go. Right, which would mean our siding's going to be up here somewhere. Anybody excited for not only a uh, level crossing, but also more services and more operators? Is this a siding or is it a passing loop of sorts or a waiting section? I don't know. I think 80 is probably still too quick regardless of what it is. What do we go for, guys? 60? 50? I don't know what this is, but we're going to have it in anyway. There we go. We've got a section there. We can smooth this bit out. We do meet up. We're just slightly off, aren't we? Just slightly south. Which isn't a big deal. 
There we go. More official episode. It's the, the official episode day. Because... It should be, shouldn't it, if we're having a level crossing? So this one... I don't know what this is doing yet. And it's going to be 65. I'm going to keep it 65 out here. We do not want a bridge just yet. But what I'd like to do is continue this platform onto the curve a little bit. We're going to take a look at it in a bit. I'm going to give it another 20 meters along there. And for some reason, this platform here is shorter. What do we say? 140? If we go 140 there and extend that a little bit more. And that should be good there. Oh, it looks like our whatever this passing line is, is going to work. There's actually another part of the platform out here. It would be like that. Perhaps we can put this in. Or maybe a little bit more space. We'll have us a double one here. And then we'll have the track attached to that. So we know how much space we've got. Again, not sure on the speeds. It almost looks like it bypasses completely. Uh, there's a third track out there. There we go. That's not too bad, is it? I do feel like two of these are sidings. because, th Well, this one is because it's a dead end. I think I'm happy with it. This starts at the platform. Roughly. There we go. That's going to be there. That's heading up to that point. This is supposed to follow this track. Well, I guess what we could do is draw that platform in. I'm going to keep these 65 as I do all the speeds at the last minute. Like once I got the infrastructure in, then it's time to do the speed settings and sort all those out. Yes, this one drifts off that way. Yeah, this is going to branch in at roughly where this siding is. So what I'm going to do is leave that much of a gap and then we can bring this in to there at the correct angle. And that should, yes, that should give us what we need. And this is going to then connect into this up here. That should be everything for that. And we can delete this back. There we go. Yes. And we're coming in. Technically, we're joining with this one. With this one, we're going to keep going round. This one's going to slowly join in. And then at the very last second, we'll snap across like that. Yeah. So we need to be about there. And then we'll come in. That's that section. So that would be something like that. There we go. I like it. That's our, that's our whatever that is, that situation going on there. Do we like it? I think it's working, isn't it? Yeah, this is a siding. That's a siding. That's a bypass. Now, this continues curving, and we're going to curve, I guess, at about 65. I don't know if there's any bridges yet or anything like that. I think there's a bridge across a river and then a tunnel. So we've got something fancy to do with this when we revisit it. It's going to be connecting back up all the way to here. At, uh, is that Neilston? That's not... Newton, isn't it? Newton, there we go. Look at me go. So this outside track now needs to come in and meet this. And then this one branches off like that should we go with 40 it's a bit closer but we are all squished in aren't we but i will continue to curve this round i've not researched past motherwell so it would just be guesswork and we're not going to do that i'm just going to put in what i do know is there which is that and that there's a bear he's admiring our work smooth that in like that there we go Lots of official episode. Oh, I buried the bear. No, he's back. Right, we have the station in. Am I happy with it? I think so. It's pretty much got everything we need. Yes. But we've got to have a... Uh, what you call it, don't we? A level crossing, which means I've got to delete all of our track. 
I did put ballast underneath it so we can see where it was supposed to be. Um, this just needs to be 100% flat. And it needs to be 90 so that we've got our fancy crossover in and we don't make it a pain. That is now going to be straight. Is it straight? Yes. Not straight, flat. We don't care if it's if it's turning. That's not what I'm worried about. Oh yeah, that won't be because I, I took it down to meet it. It should be if I do something like this. If I keep that straight and flat. We do want a little bit of a gap there. Right, what sort of length was that all the way? If we get our little passenger thing and we draw it along here. That gives us 170. More than enough room. Don't put it in, Grand. What did you do that for? I mean, it looks cool, but no. Because I would like this one to extend just a little a little further. Not with that, though. What are we making these? I don't know. 10, probably. Would be fine. We'll just extend this another 30 meters. That should give us enough for a turnaround. Then we need to go flat a little further. Not at, not at 10 miles an hour on the... West Coast Main Line? No. That wouldn't be great, would it? If we do that and that, we haven't got much to uh, gain in height or lose in height, whichever way you're heading. Now, if we draw a line there, I'm hoping it's 100. If we do the inside, we'll know for sure. There we go. Uh, we probably don't. Well, if it's 90, I might take that, actually. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we've moved it in a bit as well. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. And then we'll bring all that up. Because I don't know what we're doing with it. I can adjust it later if need be. And then we can delete all that. We don't need that now. I'll put the ballast in. Is this looking okay? It's to scale-ish. It works for me. There's a lot more going on over here. I don't think we need to be concerned with that. I'm going to save it, guys, and we're going to make us the actual station. Okay, should we build us Motherwell? I don't mean detailing, no, or even hooking it up. I just mean so that it's an actual building. Let's start with this platform. They're going to be quite nice platforms, aren't they? Quite long. If we zoom in, it's probably easier. Grand. There. I guess we should leave a little bit of room for signalling. We'll just drift off a little bit there. We'll rename it now that this is Motherwell. So that when it asks us to join, we're not joining to uh, Moss End Yard. There we go. We get to join to Motherwell, hopefully. And then we need to do this side. There we go. We have Motherwell. And it all connects. Beautiful. And what do we need to add, guys, just here? Yes, we're going to have our crossing. Can we just go straight across and will it be okay? Not really. Uh, let's get us a perfectly flat section then. There we go. It wasn't perfectly flat, was it? Will that help us? Are you flat now? That's better. Yes, I don't mind it drifting any other way. That's going to be in there. There is some stairs going across the top, which we may or may not put in. I've not decided yet. We'll send this out so that we make it easier on ourselves to do something like that with this road, the main road. It's got filter lanes, but we're not going to worry about roads in transport fever. We should start heading up, though, because we need to head over up here. We've got it. And hopefully I've installed the UK crossings. And we don't have, we have the fancy old ones. We don't have a UK crossing with its proper barriers. We do have one uh, with the default barriers though. I think they're the default barriers, uh, which is nice. That works, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. Now, a little bit of painting perhaps. Just some gravel down here. Don't have the... It's like a reddish gravel that I see everywhere around here. I don't know how this is going to all go. Don't just put it in willy-nilly. Bit of uh, bit of weeding again. 
the electricity's not on. That's fine. It doesn't matter, does it? I'll quickly fix it. We're in. We don't have any signalling at the moment. We are going to run a train out here to end the episode, guys. And it's going to be a fast service. Which I'm all sorts of looking forward to. Do we want this one way? I don't think we're going to have trains turning around on the West Coast Main Line. That doesn't make sense to me. You go in there. And we'll have another one at this end. One way. No turning around on the West Coast Main Line. These could be two way. I feel like they could be two way. And with all the depot stuff out there, I feel like uh, you'd want these on. We'll have that one there. I like it. I might make this a platform, bizarrely. Otherwise, it doesn't do the, uh, the rendering very well. Yeah, do you know what? Should we do it anyway? Even if it's only for drivers getting out. Get you in there and join. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? There we go. Right then. Which means we just need a bit of signalling up here to activate our new service. Which is going to be a Transpennine Express. One way, yes. We don't want anything coming down here. One way. Well, we could have it a little bit closer, couldn't we? Maybe something like that would do. Yes, yes. I think we're good. Now that's one way. What we're going to do is pull into here. And then, can we get back across? You can't. I feel like I'm missing a crossover somewhere. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. This is the first draft. I will go over it with a fine tooth comb. Absolutely. And figure out what's missing I do feel like there's a couple of crossovers missing yes uh, maybe I don't see why we'd need a crossover but I, I do need to look more carefully at just how this goes for now leave it Grant uh, we'll just have to I the only way we can get across at the moment then is to make this not one way and then we can just use this piece of track just for our temporary line it's going to be a quick one to set up uh, we don't have the correct trains for everything and i guess we should have a look at what we just built really on the map we haven't done that there we go guys this is where we were building we just did motherwell as you can see if we zoom down i can't <laughs> i need to Look at that, much more closely. It sort of works, what we've got. We do have this as well, though, uh, which is what I was following. And, and again, there doesn't seem to be a crossover. Uh, going across from this line, all the way across to that line, I can't see one at all. And I don't really believe there should be one. There's the crossing. Uh, no, no, there isn't one. There shouldn't be either, should there? Or should there? I don't know. There is that siding thing. Or passing line. Oh, there's something going on there. Right, ignore that. Don't get distracted. Here's our line. Here's that bypass line. This is what I followed. Um, I still don't think there's any way to get across my eyes are going all sorts of funny trying to stare at that. We've got this depot as well that we're going to put in and some sidings. We've got some difficult things to try and achieve here. A road to go across. Maybe I should have not done the station first. Oh dear. I'll see how it goes. If I've got to rebuild it, I've got to rebuild it, haven't I? It's my own fault. It shouldn't be too difficult. Yes. Got another road going across there. That's the road that heads to the crossing so this is what we're doing guys uh we do not have the nova uh, two we have the nova one <laughs> which is an electric same as the nova two and we do have the nova three as well which is the diesel uh, so i guess our best bet would be the the hitachi version the nova one 
which normally operates, as you see here, up to Edinburgh via Newcastle. Um, so it wouldn't be out of place. Um, the Scottish route would be the one we would want, the Nova 2, going through there. We do have a 185 available to us. That does the uh, Scottish route. In fact, it does all routes, I think. So yes, we could do that as well. But I'm, I'm going to put the Nova 1 in because we have that. I believe. we are. I'm pretty sure we have the Nova 1 installed. And this is the one we're going for. It's the Trans Pennine Express Glasgow Central to Preston. As you can see, we're going to have to be on P7 on our... Because we're one up. So P6, Motherwell P1. That's it. That's all it's going to do. Uh, then it goes off. It'll go through a portal. We'll have a... Uh, West Coast Mainline South Portal. But that's what we're doing today, guys. Okay, so this is going to be a tough line to create, isn't it? New line. We're going to start... I guess we should start at... Glasgow? It's You've got to start at whichever station, really, don't you? Just pick one. Ooh, we don't, we don't have this orange or blue, though. We're going to have this silver or grey. Uh, did you just take that to Holy Town? Not very useful. No, you are going to there. And I would... Oh, you can't go to P2? Yeah, you can. And we need you grey. Silvery. Silvery, there we go. So that's not good for seeing things, though, is it? Maybe we'll do that last and just check. And we will hold it up there. Let's just have it red. Make sure you're doing everything correct. We're only having one running it at the moment. I just want to make sure you don't do anything silly. Uh, close to here. Yes, there we go. You you sneak around there, which is not something I want you to do. So after Glasgow, you're going to have to go via that signal, please. <laughs> and stay on that signal, if you could. I don't know why you're heading over there. I need to slow that track down so it doesn't do this. Yeah, could you... I guess... Could you stay on there? Up to there. There we go. Stay separate. Thank you. What are you doing up here? Because you need to be technically on P7. I don't know if that's a thing. We've already got a train running P7. If that's one of the Cathcart trains, though, that can slot into there. We can shuffle that around. Yeah, on the way out. Ooh, if you're on P7, can you get across? No. No, you can't. Ah, uh, that's awkward. Can you get across up here, though? You can, can't you? You can do that little jiggle. So if you go via there on the way out, that should be fine. Yes, and then we'll have the Cathcart train, then. The Cathcart Circle Train coming in there. On the way in, that's fine. Yes, well, on the way in, you're doing fine. But it does say P6. And this would be Glasgow Central to Preston. And we'll put Transpennine Express on there. There we go, TPE. In fact, we want them square. Yeah. TPE. Got it. And now we can turn you into the correct color. Right. It's happening. Uh, yes, you will be one and then you'll be going through the portal. And we need to figure out what this line is. I'm hoping it's one of the Cathcart Circle. It's that one. Yeah, we can just move you. You're currently on seven to six, I think. Is the last one you need to be on. That should work. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Should we get a train on? The first one that isn't uh, a Scott Rail branded train. I'm going to save it. Make sure nothing breaks, hopefully. There we go. All saved. Let's buy us a vehicle. It's the electric multiple unit. I do not know if it's categorized correctly. Uh, is, is it that one? The Tachi, it's that, isn't it? The 8022, which should be the Nova. Am I right? Is that the Nova? Is that the Nova 1? The 8022? Is that electric? It is. 
If we just do all, let's double check. Because the other one's calf, isn't it? Yeah, it's the calf. That's Nova 3. And we want... There's the 185 that we can have on running wherever that runs. I've got a lovely bunch of mods to uh, select from now. So yes, I'm going to go with it being the 802 then. Electric. Not the diesel. That would be the electric version, wouldn't it? What size are you? 140 miles an hour. That's not a size. That's a speed. 128 meters long and a capacity of 106 i like it we're on put you on that one there you you're straight on look at that oh our other train is coming down as well there we go we're coming out of the depot and our other train our test train has just gone by uh, we're going to jump on board this and go as far as possible we won't have too much of a long one Oh, is there a signal there? Probably. Won't have too much of a long one today. Of a camp ride. Because what I'd like to do in the next episode, we're going to concentrate on adding a few more services. I'm going to sort out the junctions at Motherwell. I'm going to signal everything up around there. As well as some uh, spacing, some blocking along the West Coast Main Line up that section. There we go. I brought us out here so we can see it go by. Yes, we're going to put on some more train operators and uh, we'll take a, another ride. We'll have a short, slightly shorter episode with a uh, the wires hanging out all there with a um, with a decent length cab ride at the end where there should be plenty going on. Well, there it goes. There it goes. We're going to get on board this one. It should turn around immediately at Glasgow. So what I'm going to do is fast forward it so that we get up there and then drive out. All right, guys, we're on board our brand new Transpennine Express service. Not the 100% the correct one. Good night, that's noisy. It's got a bit of a strange camera, so if you get this uh, downloaded yourself, don't worry if you're in the middle of the train, you'll just have to steer yourself out. And uh, we're off. That's it, we're going straight for Motherwell. We're not stopping at any of the small stations. And the test train is behind us so that isn't bad at all is it no we can't get across to the other side so we have to do a little scoot across here over the uh the other junction there the oh i've got my camera not quite straight there we go we need to be something like that uh, the camera's a mess yes we have to go over the double slip switch there that's the word i was looking for bit of a build but uh, we got a, a level crossing in, our first one. And more importantly, we've got a new train on the lines. A fancy new one. And we're going to be seeing quite a bit more when we come back next time out. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, take care.